Registered Phenomena Code 111 Object Class Gamma Purple Hazards Visual Hazard Info Hazard Grouped Hazard Tychokinetic Hazard Geological Hazard Explosive Hazard Containment Protocols Any manifesting instances of RPC-111 are to be shut down by Authority personnel as soon as possible. RPC-111 branding is to be removed by force from all parts of the surrounding area, and the gas station is to remain closed under the premise of a catastrophic gas leak. Nearby gas station employees reported at any point to have been peddling RPC-111 services are to be administered Class C amnestics immediately. All products, receipts, or other documentation obtained by unauthorized personnel are to be confiscated by Authority personnel and incinerated immediately. In the event of containment failure, all known customers of said RPC-111 instance and all individuals within a 150 km radius of the location of the instance are to be given Class C amnestics. Funding is to be provided to local governments to construct buildings onto the remains of RPC-111. Any such building must be unable to sell fuel. All news articles about the incident are to be kept strictly local and are to be edited to report the RPC-111 instance as belonging to the previous chain, before transformation into an RPC-111 instance. Description. RPC-111 is the collective designation for a small chain of gas stations located across the North American continent. Each instance of RPC-111 is drastically different in appearance, but identical in function. Each instance resembles a gas station belonging to another company chain, except trademark branding is replaced by the term. Gas prices at instances of RPC-111 are typically cheaper than nearby competing chains by a range of $0.50 cents to $2. In addition, each instance has a small store where patrons can buy food and drinks, which have no anomalous properties but are known to be quite popular, according to testimony from customers of RPC-111. The number of RPC-111 instances varies with time, but there are estimated to be an average of at any given moment, accounting for approximately 0.0 of all gas stations in North America. It is currently unknown as to who operates the RPC-111 chain. RPC-111 will randomly replace existing gas stations across its area of activity. Upon manifestation, all gas stations within a 10km radius of the RPC-111 instance will begin to either exhibit fuel dispenser failures, increased gas prices, or purposefully underperforming staff. Employees will do this in an attempt to promote RPC-111 services to those dissatisfied with the service at the employee's respective gas station. The result of this will usually be a massive influx of business transferring over to RPC-111 instances. RPC-111 instances will also produce anomalous humanoid creatures to staff it, referred to as RPC-111-1. What happens to the previous employees of the gas station is unknown. Instances of RPC-111-1 stand at an average height of 2.12 meters and are visually identical to humans wearing the uniforms of the gas station chain before RPC-111 transformation. However, RPC-111-1 instances lack notable facial characteristics, such as hair, ears, or nose. While RPC-111-1 instances possess eye sockets and a mouth, they are devoid of eyeballs or teeth. These holes seemingly absorb 99% of incoming light, making them appear pitch black. The mouth of RPC-111-1 is fixed in an unmoving and unnaturally wide smile. RPC-111-1 instances seemingly communicate to customers of RPC-111 instances telepathically. Prior interviews indicate that these employees will frequently coerce attending customers to purchase goods from RPC-111 instances insinuating that they never have enough stuff and frequently remarking where else would they spend that money. RPC-111-1 instances can be easily coerced into authority possession, however separation from RPC-111 for more than one hour will result in their sudden sublimation. As such, information gathered from RPC-111-1 instances is extremely scarce. RPC-111's most dangerous property 
comes in the form of a random message sent continuously to one of the patrons of the RPC-111 instance, designated RPC-111-2, until the answer. This message takes the form of the typical spam email text message phone call, and RPC-111-1 instances are even known to acknowledge it in the store with confetti or buzzers. The message congratulates RPC-111-2 for being a certain number of customer, matching up with the transaction records of the RPC-111 instance, typically between the range of 10th customer to 1,000th customer. In addition, the message will inform them that they are entitled to a prize, this prize being a low-level info hazard that compels those with knowledge of it to accept it. However, this can be resisted with a high enough cognitohazardous resistance. This message will continuously be sent until RPC-111-2 explicitly rejects the offer or accepts it. If RPC-111-2 turns down the prize, RPC-111-2's head will immediately explode. It is unknown how this occurs, but is instantaneous and unable to be prevented. If the prize is accepted, the RPC-111 instance will explode with an approximate yield of 100 kilotons, flattening everything within a 1 km radius and killing any lifeforms within the same range. All instances of RPC-111-1 will spontaneously combust and home in on any other gas station in a 10 km radius by sprinting at approximately 100 km per hour in an attempt to catch the station on fire and make it explode with a similar explosive force. Whether successful or not, all RPC-111-1 instances will disappear within one hour of their respective RPC-111 instance exploding. No traces of the RPC-111 instance will exist after two hours of initial detonation. RPC-111 has been responsible for approximately fatalities and the loss of square kilometers of land. Since its discovery, gas stations have been converted into RPC-111 instances and have been destroyed by ignited RPC-111-1 instances. At the current rate of RPC-111 manifestation, Gas stations will become so infrequent that gas-powered vehicles will become impractical in the United States by the year 2 Addendum 111.1 Interview with captured RPC-111-1 instance Forward. The following is an interview conducted between lead researcher Dr. and an RPC-111-1 instance captured from an RPC-111 instance in as RPC-111-1 instances cannot talk, Dr. wrote down RPC-111-1's telepathic statements. This is an interrogation of the captured RPC-111-1 instance. RPC-111-1, is there a name you'd rather go by? The RPC-111-1 instance shakes its head. Dr. writes down, no, not that I can think of. Hopefully this won't take long, I do have to go back to work after all. RPC-111-1, hopefully you won't mind me asking this question. What exactly are you? RPC-111-1 tilts its head to the side, almost as if confused. Doctor jots down, isn't it obvious, Doc? I'm your friendly local worker. I hope you're not thinking that we're trying to poison you or anything. No, not at all. Explain your history at this company. RPC-111-1 leans back in its chair and glances up at the ceiling before sitting up and staring Dr. straight in the eyes. Dr. writes, Well, I first went to a location over in after the BP station there ran out of gas. Silly folks over there can't keep track of their own stock. No wonder I immediately fell in love with pay practically half the price for better service. Let me stop you right there, RPC-111-1. It sounds like you were once a customer. RPC-111-1 again tilts its head to the side of confusion and begins convulsing. Security grows tense and moves closer to the doctor, but they lower their guard two seconds later when RPC-111-1 stops. Doctor jots down. Of course I was, Doc. What, do you think us? Workers grows on trees? Haha. <laughs>
I apologize. Please continue. RPC-111-1 glances off at the one-way mirror in the room before looking back at Dr. Dr. writes. Anyways, I tried to super shake and immediately I knew that I'd be stopping there every single time I needed to fill up. Speaking of, have you bought a super shake yet? You really should. Won't hurt to try. At this point, RPC-111-1 has started to melt. Bits of his forehead are chipping off his chin. However, RPC-111-1's expression remains unmoved. So what happened after this? Not every customer becomes an employee. RPC-111-1 begins melting faster. As it does this, it places its left arm on the table. Its hand is missing three fingers, having already melted off. More researchers have entered the room and are frantically trying to scoop up liquid parts of RPC-111-1, but it keeps evaporating before they can secure a sample. Doctor scribbles. Well, I thought about applying for a job. I was unemployed at the time, and who knows where my next paycheck was going to come from. Luckily, noticed how many times I was stopping and shopping, because you could never have enough stuff, and they offered me a job before I could even ask if there were openings. As Dr. is writing the previous statement down, he begins to put the pen down to ask the next question when RPC-111-1 starts twiddling with left of his thumbs. Its left arm suddenly drops off, splashing onto the floor. Dr. immediately picks the pen again and jots down, Look, I enjoy your company, but if you're not going to buy anything, then I need to get back to work. We only have a few more questions, don't worry. Please continue with your background. RPC-111-1 starts leaning forward, not of its own volition, but because its spine has turned to liquid. As it hits the table, its head falls off and sits on the tabletop. I wasn't sure, but they accept it anyways. I need to go. When did you start working at… RPC-111-1's body rapidly sublimates. Telepathic signal grows slower. Effective immediately. I must go immediately. Do you remember anything before working at… No. Let. Me. Go. RPC-111-1 has melted to just a face lying on the table, rapidly evaporating. Doctor Ask one more question. How did you learn you got accepted? As RPC-111-1 evaporates into nothing, the final telepathic signals come in intermittently, as Doctor writes them down one word at a time. They sent me a text. End log. Closing statement. Moments later, the RPC-111 instance that RPC-111-1 originated from detonated. Authority personnel were dispatched to stall any ignited RPC-111-1 instances from destroying any more gas stations. Despite loss of the RPC-111-1 instance, the interview was considered a success by Dr.